Hello everybody, I'm Steffi from The Makers and this is our free tutorial how to make a Christmas hat. So welcome to all of you. Um, perhaps you've bought one of our kits um, on Huchanda and you got a little um, free pack of the red and white wool or perhaps you just happen to have some red and white wool or perhaps you bought it even from us. So in any case, there's our red New Zealand merino and here we've got our Cape merino which is lovely and um, fluffy and it's just like snow and it's white as snow is too. So we're going to make a little hat, something on the lines of that, that can fit onto all of our animals. So you can felt it on and you can even take it off afterwards so your animals will not always be Christmas animals. So we use a little bit of the red. You get quite a lot in our little free packs but you don't need very much anyway. Um, I'm, going, I'm trying to make a small hat for this little mouse here. And um, what you do is you actually roll it into a sausage, um, bearing in mind that at one end you might want it to be um, uh, pointy and on the other end you want it to be rounder. So bear that in mind when you roll it up and try already to sort of squash it in at one end a little bit so you can see with your hands you can already mold it into a hat shape. And then use your needle and start stubbing away on it. Um, remember that you have to keep turning it so that it doesn't um, get stuck to your mat and you just basically stab away in that direction so you in the direction of how you, the, you want the hat to shape so you're going towards the pointy bit by concentrating the stubs in that line up to the tip of the hat and at the opposite end you will try and stub in perhaps at the bottom first so to make it a flat almost a slightly hollow um, bottom base so you can see I am actually molding the hat bearing in mind that it is a hat and therefore I keep that in my mind and I stub the needle accordingly <clears throat> so you can see that we've got already got a little fluffy hat it's quite soft still so we do want it um, to be a little bit more solid and I am stubbing into the middle there at the bottom just to create that little hollow and the flat base and um, uh, there you have to mind your fingers because you're going directly towards your fingers so the needle could very well end up in your fingers don't do that and um, again I'm doing the pointy bit here we're using New Zealand Merino because it is amazingly easy to felt so even if you have never felt it before um, with the New Zealand Merino I can guarantee you a success so there we have our little hat now we're going to make a little pom-pom at the end. I use some of that white, I roll it into a ball in my fingers. I do that, I try and do that quite tight. And then uh, mind your fingers again, I just move this out of the way. Just give it a few steps to secure the shape. Remember to keep rolling it around so that you don't end up with a flat round shape. You want a ball shape. And, um, and when, when you've done this, you um, lie it flat on the hat. Now, don't worry, we're going um, in, into it all around, but for the moment, just fasten it onto it so that we, um, we it looks like you're putting it on 2D, like that, but we're not going, it's not going to stay like that. So um, now we're going to turn it over and stab the red wool in from the other side, and you can see that that literally lifts up the, the bauble or the pom-pom and um, attaches it onto the hat. So first of all, you lie it flat on it, felt it on, and then you go all around the base to make it sort of come up and be on top of it. And, um, and then what you do is you use a little bit of the white for the rim. So again, we lay it on like that, and you stub around it beyond the bottom of the hat, because we don't want the white, the red to show when the, when we attach it to the animal. We're doing this all very <clears throat> softly at the moment because you can actually um, shape it more depending on if you want the hat to stay on the animal all year round or if you want to take it off. But if you want to stay it to stay on, then you can do it all very softly and attach it and shape it finally once it's on the animal. I'm putting this around that side. None of this will take very long. You can see me doing this as I'm talking and it is literally a, um, a few minutes. So here we've got our hat. Don't worry so much what it looks like on, on the inside underneath because nobody's gonna see it once it's on an animal. 
but we've made a little Christmas hat here and um, we can put that now onto our little mouth. Keep it warm, its ears warm. So I'm now using the hat and I'm stabbing in above the white because I don't want the white to, um, to, sh to um, flatten down too much. So I'm putting this on there and now I've got an opportunity to shape it a little bit more. Now this hat is on the mouse now and it's, it is secure. So if you wanted to pull it off afterwards, you can always do that. But if you want it to be a more permanent fixture, then now is the time to shape the hat a little bit more and make use of the mouse as a base. So I want this hat to go down so it's not sticking up. You could do all of this before you attach it to the mouse, of course. There we are, so it looks a little bit more like it's down and then I noticed that here on the side the red has come through so I'm going to just cover that with a bit more white. I mean even now I could take the hat off um, and if, if a few red fibers show on the top of the head of the mouse then I can always cover it with a bit of white again. Um, so it's not like it's, it's forever and ever on there. But this is basically how, do you, how you make a hat for a little mouse. And then of course you can make a larger version there's plenty of wool left still you can see um, I can make at least another four or five of the smaller size or I can even make a big one or I can even put one on, on the budget on the badger after all he needs to be kept warm in the winter as well so once you've made your hat just stab it on the creature a few stabs will be enough and there you are thank you very much for watching me and I hope um, you can follow up these instructions easily and remember we have got amazing kits we've got the trio of mice kits which makes a white a gray and a brown mouse and of course our all-time favorite the sleepy dormouse thank you very much bye for now